Well, temperatures will continue to drop as we draw closer and closer to winter. And people looking for a new winter coat and other seasonal necessities were able to pick them up for free today through the United Way. Mel Meyer has more. That's amazing. Does it button? The annual Coats for the Community event was open to all, regardless of need, no questions asked. Minnesota winters can be pretty harsh, and I think they're a lot more enjoyable when you're not cold. <laughs> About 250 people were able to grab a bag and take as much as they needed for themselves or others. I know so many people that need things, and it's just easy to get them for them. People were able to donate new or gently used items at five area businesses. We have women that actually hand knit hats and scarves and mittens for people and donate them. Barb Treat has helped for the last 20 years collecting items from school lost and found, even buying items when they go on sale. When you see children standing out by the bus stop without warm enough clothes, it makes you even more motivated to do something like this. The service is a great resource for families who otherwise might spend hundreds of dollars on new clothing. There are kids' mittens and hats and gloves. We heard they were giving away great jackets for the kids, so, and we have lots of nieces and nephews, and as well as children, so we figured it'd be a good, good time to get some jackets and get all the winter supplies that we need. Emma Gardner says the event is perfect for her six children, who might quickly grow out of or even misplace their coats something gets lost, at least we have a backup. You know, it's, it's always good to have a backup. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. The United Way of Bemidji will also hold its free holiday gifts for kids program, which allows families to shop for a present for their children. Pre-registration for that event will begin after Thanksgiving. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.